Well, we're just a few days away from spring and uh, down here in the south, the spring is definitely sprung and uh, people are starting to get out on the water and starting to think about boating and, and getting out on the water. And uh, I decided I wanted to talk about this um, type four throwable device, which is required to be on any boat 16 feet or longer, and uh, except for canoes, things like that. But the reason I, uh, I'm bringing this, this, this uh, topic up seems pretty simple thing, not much to say about it. But I ran into two situations where people had these as their only flotation device on their, on their boat. And that's, uh, that doesn't meet the requirements. In other words, you're running illegal. And plus, it's very unsafe. You don't have a, a proper life jacket. And uh, a life jacket uh, in, in Coast Guard or, or legal terms is a type one, two, three, or five. This is a type four. It's a, considered a throwable. This must be readily accessible. You can't, excuse me, actually immediately accessible. So you can't stow it below decks or have have it in a place where you're going to have to move gear or, or equipment or, or things around to get to it. It must be grab it and be able to immediately throw it to somebody who's fallen in the water is in the water. Uh, also, if you should be the one that receives this and you're in the water, you do not want to wear it across your back. The proper way is actually to put your arms through it like this. You could also stick your uh, stick a leg through it and then wear it across your chest diagonally. So that would be a very secure way. So if you uh, were in, the, in, in water where there's a lot of wave action, you were to get tumbled around, that way you wouldn't, uh, wouldn't lose the, the flotation device. Also, being it's immediately, it needs to be immediately accessible, a lot of people have these just kind of laying around and use it as a seat cushion. In fact, a lot of people call, oh, that's a seat cushion. Well, it's not a seat cushion. Uh, the bad thing about using it as a seat cushion is through time you compress this and it loses its, its flotation. It doesn't float as well. It doesn't provide uh, as much buoyancy for, for uh, a person in the water. So it's kind of one of those minor things that a lot of people sort of ignore, but uh, it's, it's important to know that, that you need to have one, one is all you need on board. If you've got a bunch of them, I, I would question why do you have a bunch of them? Um, are you using those as your as your life jackets so so don't use these as a life jacket have them on board like you're required uh, to have them and uh, maybe later on we'll talk about uh, the other life jackets and and sort of the pros and cons of those and and what makes them a little bit different from having just this uh, throwable device so um, summer's coming on spring is here uh, we'll be getting out on the water